Usually each year we have uh, an abundance of a couple things in Cache Valley and uh, two of those things are uh, alkaline soil and lots of water. And we've had uh, lots of water and we definitely have lots of alkaline soil this year. And that causes a big problem, especially with uh, all kinds of plants, and that's uh, iron deficiency or iron chlorosis. And we've seen a lot of that this year. And uh, it's a really common problem that we see year after year after year because of the combination of some of the, the factors we have here just that, that uh, are in Cache Valley. Uh, a standard leaf on, uh, on, on a plant should, should look a, a little bit like that. Uh, and just a, a nice green looking leaf. And that's, that's what the leaf should look like. When it starts to show some iron deficiency, the leaf is, is going to actually look like that. And that's a classic sign of iron deficiency in a plant. You'll see the newest growth on the plant first start to yellow up. So, uh, so most of the older growth will still stay green, but the newer growth will turn uh, a lighter color and you'll see dark green veins running through the leaves just like on this sample that I've got right there and uh, this is a this is a vine this is actually a, a trumpet vine trumpet vines are notorious for uh, having a little bit of iron deficiency but we see it in uh, burning bush we see it in tomatoes we see it in maples we see it in all, all kinds of plants and uh, this is a tomato leaf as well too. If you can see that tomato, it's, it's got those darker veins running through that lighter uh, leaf tissue. And uh, as I said, shows up in the newest growth first, starts to work its way through the rest of the plant. And uh, as the plants become iron deficient, as they become chlorotic, they will uh, be much more susceptible to wind and sunburn. And so then you start to get some brown crisping along the edges of the leaves and uh, the entire leaf can go brown and crispy as well too. But it usually starts with the iron deficiency. So the best ways to control that is with a chelated iron product. Now a chelated product um, is kind of broken down or pre-digested for the plant. So, uh, the plant can pick it up and utilize it a lot easier. One of our favorite products is uh, made right here in Logan, and it's made by a company called Bicor, and it's called Iron Combo Chelate. Now, the Combo Chelate has a lot of different micronutrients in it, but it's got tons of chelated iron. In fact, it's got about almost 5% chelated iron in there. That the plants can pick up very quickly, very readily, and utilize that, and it'll green the it'll green the plants up. Uh, it'll green the plants up very very quickly. And uh, Combo Chelate, you mix in water, and so you take one to two tablespoons of this, mix it up in water, and then water your plants with it. One thing that we found to be very effective with the combo chelate is to mix a little bit of spreader sticker with it. The spreader sticker is a surfactant and uh, it, it mixes with the iron and it makes the iron stick onto the plant a little bit longer and it makes it penetrate in quicker and it will also make it uh, actually spread through the plant faster. So using a spreader sticker like this, it will make your iron, especially your combo chelate, even more effective. We found it works great on petunias. It's really good for hanging baskets and planters. It's good for smaller f flowers, especially perennials, smaller shrubs. You can spray it on so it'll be absorbed in right through the leaves, or you can also uh, just water your plants with it and it'll pick it up through the root system. If you have larger trees, I mean really big trees, uh, like maples, especially silver maples, we see iron deficiency and lindens a lot as well too. So there's quite a few trees that are kind of susceptible to uh, the iron chlorosis or the iron deficiency. You've got to go with a product like this uh, powdered chelated iron. Now these are, are two very, very good products. Uh, the, the biggest difference between these two is the EDDHA, this one, the purple label. Uh, it will work no matter what your soil pH is. And so if your soil pH is really high, uh, the soil pH really does make a difference with iron because it will uh, bind up the iron in the soil and make it so it's unavailable available to your plant. So you can put all kinds of different iron products on your plants and if your pH is really high, your plants will never ever be able to get the iron. But if you use a product like the EDDHA, this purple label, it doesn't matter what your soil pH is and it will be used up by the plant very quickly and it won't get bound up in the soil and it'll work great. Um, this iron chelate, this 10% right here, this will work if your pH is below about seven and a half, maybe eight. And uh, for Cash Valley, that works really very well. Um, a lot less expensive than the EDDHA, it does a very, very good job, very readily available, is quickly picked up by the plants and utilized, but uh, if your pH is higher than eight, it's just, it's just not gonna work. If you have really large trees and you have a hard time applying the iron on the soil or around the plant, or there's no way you can spray it on the plant, one of our other favorite products is called a tree treat. And the tree treats, you can actually drill a hole into the tree, you insert the little tree treats, they're little tablets that are about, oh, 
small, about that big, and uh, they just go right in the holes. You drill holes into the tree. It doesn't do any damage to the tree, but uh, it puts the nutrient, the iron, and the other micronutrients in the nitrogen right directly into the circulatory system of the tree. And uh, with a you know, with a large tree, you'd end up doing you know five or six or maybe even up to ten implants, depending on how large the tree is. And uh, these uh, these implants will last two, sometimes even three years, and de deliver that nutrient to the plants, uh, especially these larger trees that are really hard to spray. And it'll deliver that nutrient right directly into the circulatory system in the tree. It just like spreads through the whole tree as the tree runs sap and and water through the through its circulatory system. It works very very well. So great ways to try and control iron deficiency. Don't forget what the what the iron deficiency looks like. Uh, yellowing leaves, dark green veins, and uh, when you see that, it's a sure sign that you've got some iron deficiency, and we've got the products to to, to fix that.